chapter number 13. Verse number 15. So let's continually offer up a sacrifice of praise through him which is the fruit of our lips that confess his name. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place, for we are a needy people. We need you every hour. We are a hungry people. We hunger and we thirst for your presence. We stand in awe of you as we wait to hear a word from you. Because without a word from you, our thirst will not be quenched, nor will our hunger ever be fed. Things, we tried them, but they can't do it. People, we've tried them, but they couldn't do it. Another drink or another joint is not going to do it. If you don't do it, Father, it won't be done. So do it, Lord. Speak a ring of word into our spirits. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven. Feed us till we want no more. And I want you, and we want to wait to thank you. We're going to thank you in advance for the meal that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here. Come by here.
in the series, Praise is What God Wants. The book of Hebrews is the book of better things because it lays out for us a comparison of Judaism and Christianity. Amen. Hebrews shows us that Jesus' is coming was the supreme sacrifice and that all other sacrifices made pale in comparison to his coming. Hebrews lets us know that we are more than the ecclesia. We are more than the called out one. <coughs> Hebrews reveals to us that we are sanctified, but that we are more than just sanctified. That we are consecrated, but that we are consecrated to do more than just sit down and try to look pretty. Yeah. Hebrews lets us know that we are consecrated to become living, functioning priests in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Hebrews lets us know that we are anointed to do what God has called us to do. Yeah. And that it is useless, fruitful, and counterproductive to be jealous of someone else's anointing. Yeah. Because God has given each and every one of us a gift. Yeah. It lets us know that we do not come together to compare doctrine. We do not come together to support our degrees. We do not come together to show off our intellectual capacities. Hebrews shows us that we come together to the tent of meetings, that we come together at the tabernacle, that we come together at the temple, that we come together at the house of God to minister not to ourselves, but to minister unto God. You see, we are a peculiar people a royal priesthood, a, a holy nation, and that we should shoot for, that we should push for the praises of him who has called us out of darkness up into the marvelous light. And isn't it wonderful to be in the marvelous light? Isn't it grand to be saved? To walk in the wonderful light of Jesus Christ? If you are happy to be saved, you ought to put your hands together to be And the Bible says the priest is not to appear before God empty. Uh, 
that every one of us must bring an offering. No, no, no matter how many people praise God around you or how many people praise God beside you, none of them can praise God for you. Right. You must praise God for yourself. Tell somebody to say, open your mouth. Tell somebody to say, open your mouth. Oh, they didn't like it, they didn't like it, but they told them anyway. Tell them I told you anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know they didn't like it, but I told you anyway. Don't you know that your God is a speaking God? Yeah. Your God is a speaking God, and if you are going to bless Him, you have to bring Him a speaking praise. Uh, everything He created, He did it with the power of the spoken word. Uh, he stepped out nothing and said let there be and it became just because he said it because he is a speaking God by faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of God and before he had anybody to praise him he said I'll just praise myself I know I'm right about it because at each interval of the creation 